is Hespa FM, supporting the mental well-being and resilience of 10 to 16-year-olds in Wolverhampton. Who do you talk to when you're sad or need advice? When things aren't going well, I'll tell my mum because she can keep it a secret and she will listen to me. When things aren't going well, I talk to Gavia because she listens. When things go wrong, I talk to Sarah and my family because they all listen really well. I talk to Gavia because um, when I have a problem, she knows like what to say and she helps. I talk to Sarah and my parents because they all know what to say back and would help me go through the problems. When things go wrong, I talk to my big sister because I always, I always know that, that she will make things better for me. I can like put my faith in my mum because she tells me what to do after I've explained the problem to her and then she can give me further advice on what to do exactly. So it's like having a bit of guidance when I, when I know I've done something wrong, I can do, just go to my mum and say, Mum, I've done this, what do you want me to do? So it's really easy talking to my mum when, when I've done something and when I need her help. When things aren't going wrong, I talk to my mother because I know that I can trust her. Um, the person in school I will talk to is Miss Shika because um, we have one-to-ones and the person who I would talk to at home is my mum or wh- whether I'm at my dad, it's my dad. Because um, my mum always understands more and, yeah, and my dad, he solves them sometimes. I would talk to my mum because... Uh, she helps me get through things. I would sit down with her and she would tell me uh, if I did something wrong, she'll tell me why it's wrong and why I don't have to do it again. But if I'm feeling down, she'll, she'll, she'll make me feel better and we'll understand why, why I feel down in the first place. I have, like, loads of friends, but the three people I'd put my trust in are my, is my best friend and my best friend Shanae, Frankie and Nicola, I'd put my trust in all of them three because I can trust them. And, like, if um, something's going on in school, I can just tell them and say, OK, Nicola, Frankie, Shanae, this happened. Um, what I'm going to do is, can you help me? And they would give me advice on what I need to do next instead of pushing me into the problem. This is Head Start FM. What makes you proud? I feel proud because I have loads of brothers. And then I, if I feel down, then I can talk to one of them. And... They won't mind. What makes me feel proud is um, because my mum goes to work and she's tired every day, like when she comes back. So what makes me feel proud when when I help her cleaning as um, she's really tired and she don't have time. Um, What makes me feel proud of myself is like, I have a little sister and a little brother at home so whenever I teach them something and then they go off to well my little sister whenever I teach her something and she goes off to school and does it and she gets an award for doing it it makes me feel so proud because I know like oh I'm the one that taught her that I'm the one that showed her actually how to do this so I feel really proud. The thing that makes me feel proud is that my achievement from all the way from nursery to year six and how far I've come. Um, We had a really big exam at the start of year six and I passed it. I feel proud that I have a sister to actually help me on my maths and studies to help me get better on moving on in life. I feel proud when I get a gold award or I get, or miss, or miss that said something good about my work. I feel proud when someone compliments me and when I get an award. Another thing that makes me proud is helping my parents when they need some help with my sister. This is Head Start FM. And what makes you happy? I'm happy that I have a brother who, who can help me sometimes and play games with me, not always on his phone. He can sometimes come downstairs and play games with me. The thing that truly makes me happy is staying with my friends and staying with my family. The thing that makes me truly happy is staying with my friends at school and my family. What makes me truly happy is how grateful I am for my parents and what family I own since 
they always help me and whenever my dad's at home and he's not working, we always go somewhere nice like Bridge North, Birmingham and we sometimes we even go near Bed- Bentley Bridge for some bowling. So that's what makes me really happy that I have such a such grateful and thankful parents. What makes me truly happy is when my um, when my sister comes to my dad's house and we play together and we just watch TV and sometimes we go back to her house and yeah and we just play and have fun with each other. What makes me truly happy is when um, all of our family are together and when we celebrate things like um, birthdays and when we're all together and have some fun. What makes me really happy is by um, sometimes uh, being like lonely, like in quiet space because in my house there's lots of noise and everything so it's nice to be like in a quiet space in my own room and everything. The thing that makes me truly happy is having my family and friends around me. What makes me truly happy is seeing my friends and family around just as Frankie said because basic, basically my family are weird but in a good way so every time I come home to see them it, they have this sunny disposition that just makes me feel warm inside whenever I see them. So I really love my fr- my family. Whenever they make me truly happy, I can live without anything else in this world. This is Head Start FM. Just a quick break from the conversation to let you know about the brand new Head Start Online support and guidance site at support.headstartonline.co.uk or headstartonline.co.uk forward slash support. The purpose of the site is to bring together selected resources from around the web and from Head Start itself. Whether you're a young person yourself, a parent or family member, or a professional who works with young people, we hope that you find the site to be a really useful starting point for exploring the resources that are going to help you. Thanks very much. Now back to the conversation. This is Head Start FM. What is the biggest challenge you've faced in your life? The biggest challenge I faced in my life was when my parents broke up and it all happened in front of my eyes. It made me feel terrified because when I was little I always thought that life was going to be really good but it it turned out it wasn't. The biggest challenge is was actually moving house. I didn't want to leave my friends behind. I didn't want to leave my friends behind so I found it kind of hard to move. I find it kind of hard to move house. And then I just saw the area, saw the school I was going to. I said, okay, I might like it here. You never know, might like it here. Um, I moved from London to um, Wolverhampton. Um, My biggest challenge that I faced was that um, my cat died. It's because I got it when, um, I got it when it was small. It used to always run away from me and my sister. But after a few years, I really like I really like animals, dogs and cats. So it's been really hard for me. Whenever I think about it, it makes me feel really sad. The biggest challenge I faced in my life was when a van crashed into my house at two a.m. in the morning. And when I came downstairs, I didn't I didn't wake up until my brother woke me up saying, "Wake up, wake up! A thief is coming into our house." And really, the man. The man was because he was drinking. He was like he just he bashed into the house next to us and then into our house. By the time the next morning when they were school, I looked downstairs in the window. I saw all of the windows crashed and I and the van was still there. And then that made me wonder how am I gonna get over this? And still to this day, I think I still think about it. This is Head Start FM. What's your favorite thing about yourself? What I like about myself is is that I try being like as helpful as I can be to other people. Even if like I don't know them, but say if someone needs help with something, I'll try and help them. The most thing I like about myself is yeah. is my personality because I like to help people out and when they're stuck I push them higher sometimes. And when when they feel sad I try to help them out. The nicest thing I've ever done is helped people with questions. And they reacted amazed that I helped them so much. 
Um, I helped one of my friends because something was happening at home and I helped her. Something happened and then she wasn't like, she was really tired and she wasn't doing her work properly. So I helped her do it. I think the best thing about me is that I am friendly. The best thing about me is being very chilled and staying out the way. Well, everybody's downstairs making noise, arguing, like my brothers. I'll just stay upstairs and do whatever. <laughs> I just got up. He didn't tell me to do anything. I went around the whole house, cleaning it from top to bottom. And he, and even cook. It was my first time cooking. And my mum said it was really good and that I was on a golden streak all day. This is Headstart FM, supporting the mental well-being and resilience of 10 to 16-year-olds in Wolverhampton. Wolverhampton.